Hi everyone, in this video we will create an authorization rule in ERP Next. Now authorization rule allows you to configure a custom authorization or a custom approval on a document based on the condition defined. Now what does it mean? Now let's say you are in the selling module and you have a sales user creating a sales order. So if a sales order exceeds more than, let's say it is more than $10,000, then you want that it should be given an approval by a sales manager. So this can be achieved by authorization rule. Now let's go to the authorization rule. Here we have this and we'll create our first authorization rule. Now let's go to go, let's go through all this field and we will understand what it's all about. Now here first we have a transaction. Now authorization rule is applicable for these all doc types you can see that is appraisal and we have sales invoice delivery note quotation and purchase order and all that so what I'll do is I'll select a sales order uh, what I'll do is I'll make an authorization rule like if a grand total is more than I'll add a value over here if a grand total is more than the value that I set let's say I'll set a value of 5000 if a sales user is creating a sales order of more than 5000 then this authorization rule will be applied that is he won't be able to submit the sales order unless it is approved by an authorization authorized user that I have added over here so let's say now okay one more thing if you want to not restrict that this authorization rule to one company you can also remove this company option from here okay but I'll keep it now here we can add an applicable to role that is this authorization is applicable to the role you can add or if you don't want to add any role if you want to add a specific user then you can also add it now one more thing this is my main account where I'm a system manager now one thing to remember is that to create an authorization rule you need to be a system manager okay now there's another account I have logged in okay yeah this is my another account you can see it's an incognito and uh, what I'll do is I'll assign this authorization rule for this account over here so I'll add a user yes this one it is okay and then I'll add an approving role so like who is responsible for approving the sales order you can add a role or if you don't want you can add a user specific user but let's say I'll add a sales manager that is whoever is having a role of a sales manager will be able to like approve this all right now next we have is an approving user so I'll select myself and let's save it so now this authorization rule is created now what I'll do is I'll go into my another account and I'll create a sales order having a value more than 5000 and then we'll see what happens now let's create a new all right let's select customer and let's add the item code that is item for which we want to create this so I'll add this one and I'll select the delivery date and over here I'll add a quantity let's say I want 20 okay 